generations. Thanks to a popularity with millennials, bubbly is popping up more often. And joining me now is sommelier Susie Savanovich uh, here from uh, Perry's Steakhouse to show us how to match things with, with our meals. You know, we think of champagne as just just that little uh, celebratory thing. Yes. But it really can go with a meal just like wines can, right? Absolutely, yes. And the great thing about sparkling wine, you go sparkling wine all the way through to champagne. Sparkling wine from Northern Italy is made in a really more traditional style and it's really light and bubbly and doesn't have a lot mm -hmm. of deep flavors. Or you can go into a wine that's more paired with, it's more made with Pinot Noir. It's got more of those red grape varietals. It'll have a richer flavor Yes, to it, and right? a Pinot and pork, perfect <laughs> pairing. Match the peas. Yes, <laughs> Pinot, Pinot and pork. pork. Okay. And then when we get into uh, wines that have got a little bit more age, like True Champagne from France, you get more characteristics even deeper and you can pair it with uh, beef. Okay. So, yeah. And, and so don't be intimidated by this. I mean, ask when you're yes, ordering. Yes, absolutely. So just ask what would go best with right. it. Right, and the versatility of champagne. We're a steakhouse, so we sell a lot of red wine, so it seems odd that we would be talking about uh, sparkling wine. Mm -hmm. But really, they're much more versatile even than just sticking to red because it can carry you from the beginning of your meal all the way through your dessert. Mm -hmm. so. And when you're drinking these, the, the glassware itself makes a difference. Yes. Many people don't know that, but yes. explain what that is. Yeah, so the lighter is. versions I like to put in the flute because mm -hmm. you just don't have a lot of complexity in that wine. You just want it to be nice and cold and you love to see those beautiful bubbles. Whereas with this wine, you have a larger bowl and you can actually swirl it around and get more of those, get those notes, really heavier right. notes. Uh -huh. Yes, uh -huh. yep. Okay, so. and uh, one thing many people are simply intimidated by, yes. opening a bottle of champagne. Yes. Show us how to do it. Well, a little tip for your viewers, you should, the most important thing, there's a lot of pressure in this bottle because there's carbon dioxide. Mm -hmm. That's where the bubbles mm -hmm. come from. Mm -hmm. So the colder the wine, the better. So don't try to open a bottle that is not cold. So just make sure that you've had it in your fridge for long enough to mm -hmm. keep it mm -hmm. nice and cold. So you wanna take off this foil. And there's always, usually a little pull always tab. keeping your finger over the yes. top, right? Yes, so okay. now you've got this little cage that you start to um, unwind, but I always have my finger on here. And then you're going to just do some twists, uh, loosen that cage, and I leave the cage on. And I'll grab okay. a linen and just start mm. twisting the bottle. And all you need to do usually is one twist, and the, the cork's starting to come up already, so I'm actually pushing down so I don't get too much ah, of a pop. That sounds... Yes. <laughs> So this one, you know, is, is a you don't want it to bubble over or any of that. Yeah, you're, so. you're not losing a drop there. Exactly. We often <laughs> see and shake it and pop it and yes. all of that, but you really don't want to waste no, it. No, right? no. And actually, we also are using uh, sparkling wine in cocktails more. Um, I, I also do the mixology at Bar 7-9 at Perry's, and this is one of our signature cocktails. Mm -hmm. And what, what I would recommend also for your, um, for your viewers is if they're having a party, we're actually willing to share this recipe with your viewers. And you can take this recipe and multiply it by the number of guests you have and make a batch of the recipe, okay. and then you're ready to go. So you just, uh, then you we're, we're going to have this recipe on yes, our website, by yeah. the way. So you can just put the, put the liquid in the glass with mm -hmm, all the alcohol mm -hmm, in it. This mm -hmm. has mango passion vodka. It has a little bit of spicy mango syrup in it. And then we're going to just top it with the champagne. So you would just bubble it up, and then when your guests arrive, you just hand them this beautiful Kids cocktail. Nice little thing. Yeah. All right, well, great. We're out of time now. Too early to start drinking right now, <laughs> but uh, certainly get in and uh, enjoy some yes. champagnes and sparkling wines. Yes. Thanks for being with us.